Hi, how's going? How was your weekend? I hope really fine. In this video, I want to share what I know about sanding and priming your van before the paint. Let's start! Before to start, if you're a new visitor and you're interested in living in a van, working online while traveling, well, this is your channel. And the best things you can do to help you and help us is to subscribe and you can find the button right here. If you are an older visitor, older, did I say older? You can also help by liking our videos, comments down below, and share it on social media. This will help us to grow our channel and to reach even more people with our videos. Hmm, big news for our channel, because we're gonna upload three times a week. Did I say three? Yeah, you say three. And in order to do so, I clone it myself. Let's check now what happened in the last days here at Greek Westy. We are almost done with cutting the sheet metal. So what you see in the back, it's the van that we use in order to take the parts that we need and put in our van. Why we do that? For several reasons we do that. First of all, financial. I realize that if I have to buy all the parts and replace them on Mork, it will cost about 2,000 euro. 2,000? Yeah, exactly, because I have to replace the O piece. In this way, I pay the van 200 euro, and I can use all the small pieces I want. Another reason is that it's the same sheet metals out from Volkswagen factory. Let's go now to check our van. Here we are, that's Mork, and we're almost on the final stage of the first part of the job, so taking care of the body and the rust. Let me show you actually what happened. First of all, we actually finished the side door. That was a long period of time to do so, but now it's perfect. And I can show you how it closed and opened. That's not amazing? As well, we finished the job on the rear part of the van. With Alexander, we start sanding the van. Sanding is one of the most important parts of paint preparation, and investing time to do it right will deliver professional result. Depending on the job, could be done with sandpaper or an electric orbital sander. And of course, you will need to use different grades of paper, depending on the task. And then we start with priming. So which type of primer is right for your van? At the end of this video, I will share with you two useful videos about it. Priming is an essential step in painting metal surface. And you'll need to prime before applying any top coat or color on the car. Why to do so? That's pretty easy. Primer, seal the surface and create a protective barrier. And of course, they create an ideal surface for the color coat paint. I suggest always choose a high quality automotive primer that's developed for use on metal surface and make sure that the area that you're gonna cover is really clean. Normally, you should apply two or more coats of primer to ensure the bare metal is completely covered. Then stop and inspect the area. This time it's really important so you can see all the small detail and the imperfection and you can make them perfect. And you can remove any bumps by resending the area. It's absolutely normal to repeat this process more than a couple times to get it right. This is the best tip for a flawless professional finish. <laughs> Let's check now what we actually used. So, this is what we use mainly spray for the bottom of the van for all the parts that are not easy to reach and then for all the side and the body we use a normal one it's a body pro primer that's it for today thank you for watching this video let me know if you have any question in the comments down below here you can find the two videos i choose for you about how to choose the right primer for your van and of course don't forget to subscribe I don't know how to stop him. Seriously.